Hi everyone, welcome to Field Pulse 360 Lite. My name is Libby and today we're going to take a look at the price book. Let's go ahead and get started. A price book houses all of your flat rate jobs and allows you to easily add them to estimates and invoices or show them to a customer and allow them to make a selection. It's also an easy way to store add-on options and increase your upsells on every estimate or invoice. This ensures consistency and saves you time. Let's take a look at the process of building a price book here in Field Pulse, as well as how to use it to add flat rate jobs to estimates and invoices. To get started building a price book, we'll click Create Price Book. Here you'll be able to give your price book a name and adjust which roles on your team you'd like to have access. You'll also want to set your labor rate per hour and your overhead rate per hour. This will allow your job costs to be more accurate. Once you've done this, you'll also want to create your default markup percentage. This is the percentage that all of your flat rate jobs and line items will be marked up by, but you can always add additional markup rates. This will allow you to create different markup categories for different aspects of your job, whether it's labor, supplies, or items made of a certain material. When you're happy with the setup of your price book, let's keep going and set up those categories. This page is where you'll set up the various categories of your price book. All of your flat rate jobs will be housed under these categories, making it easy for you and your team members to quickly find the flat rate job you'd like to add. You can create categories within categories, going as deep as you need to, to be sure that all of your flat rate jobs are organized. To create a category, press Create New Category and give it a name. You'll also be able to select whether these jobs are displayed in a list or a good, better, best format. To take a look at the jobs and subcategories under each of your categories, click on the title and you'll be able to see everything housed underneath it. To navigate back to that main page of categories, simply click the house icon and you'll be brought back. Next, let's take a look at add-on lists. Add-on lists are a place where you can create add-ons to be selected and added to flat rate jobs. This is especially important for your estimates as it provides you an easy upsell opportunity to increase your sales with a customer. You'll be able to create various add-on groups and then select which flat rate jobs you'd like to attach these add-ons to. We'll take a look at what this means more in a minute. Lastly, we'll build our flat rate jobs and then house them under the categories we built originally. Flat rate jobs may be things like installing a kitchen faucet, adding a water filter attachment, or any other job that your team performs consistently. Again, the purpose of flat rate jobs is to have the line items, labor, and overhead all housed together, making it easy and fast to add these flat rate jobs to your estimates and invoices. Now let's take a look at how you can use the price book in your everyday workflow. We'll take a look at this estimate as an example. On both your estimates and invoices, you'll notice a price book icon that makes it easy to enter a price book and add both flat rate jobs and add-on options directly to your estimates and invoices. Let's click on the price book icon and then Field Pulse 360 price book. If you have multiple price books, this is the time when you'll be able to choose which one you'd like to use. Once here, I'll be able to see the list of all of the price book categories that I've created. I can click into the category where I may be greeted with my flat rate jobs or additional subcategories. Once here, you can select the flat rate jobs you'd like to add or use multi-select if you'd like to provide your customer with options. Now I'm brought to the page of add-ons. I can select this add-on here to include it in my estimate or invoice or press next to not include it at all. Once I've selected my flat rate jobs and any add-ons, Field Pulse will prompt me and ask if I'd like to add all of these items into a single estimate or if I'd like to separate my add-ons from the rest of the estimate. For this example, we'll separate our flat rate job from our add-on. Now when I look at my estimate, I'll see the flat rate job that I added here with a description, total price, image, and all of the necessary details. Continuing to scroll, I'll see the add-on option that I provided, which will allow my customer to choose to include it or not in their final purchase. While you can easily create estimates and invoices in Field Pulse without a price book, using the price book will save you time and ensure consistency. If you're performing similar flat rate jobs time after time, using the price book will build a strong relationship with both your team and your customers because everyone will know what to expect.
Plus, you'll find that it saves you a lot of time. Thanks for joining me today to take a look at Field Pulse's price book. If you'd like to learn more about Field Pulse and our other features, and you're a current customer, join us for Field Pulse 360 every two weeks. You can register in the Help Center or watch recorded sessions there. If you're new to Field Pulse, book a demo with us today. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you soon.